Lisa Guglietti spends a lot of time on her cell phone directing construction of her new home in Oakville, Ontario. But she never expected this beside her son's future bedroom. And the tower is 13 meters away from his bedroom window. Eight cellular antennas clamped on the chimney of a building next door owned by Bell Mobility. This is the view that we have looking outside his bedroom window. <laughs> Lisa right. told us she got no notice and no say. I just think that they've crossed the line by, by putting this tower up within meters of a child's bedroom. In fact, cell towers are casting new shadows all over the country. And thanks to an Industry Canada rule, phone companies don't need to get permission from neighbours or the municipality if the tower is under 15 metres tall. So guess how high they're making them? We found examples of towers going up all over the country at 14.9 metres. Why not make it 14.99 metres? John Brassard is a city councillor in Barrie, Ontario, where construction has started on another tower. He says phone companies should have to follow the same rules as homeowners. If you want to build a shed, it's regulated. If you want to expand your driveway, it's regulated. We have no say in this. Brassard and a growing number of Canadians say Industry Canada needs to change the rule and give people more say. Even a Conservative MP has urged his own government to do something. This is intolerable. But nothing has happened. And in the meantime, Industry Canada is making a small fortune from the fees companies pay when they expand their network. CBC News has learned in just the past three years, Ottawa has raked in over a billion and a half dollars. If there's uh, revenue that's being generated from it, then that's Industry Canada's prerogative. What we're saying is there has to be alternative locations other than just putting these things in the middle of residential neighbourhoods and sensitive uses. Industry Canada says consultations aren't required because towers less than 15 metres generally have minimal local impact. I'm sure there are many people all over Canada that are in this situation. Uh, I'm sure they are just as frustrated as I am. Health Canada says the levels emitted from cell towers are safe. But the World Health Organization says the jury is still out on the long-term effects of living next to these antennas. Maybe in 10 years from now, I'm going to find out that, oh yeah, there, is, there, there, there can be health hazards in, in living so close to a cell tower. So Guglietti's taking no chances, instructing a contractor to cover every wall of the house with microwave sheeting before the drywall goes up to deflect the radio waves. An expensive fix and one most Canadians already in their homes can't do.